Hi, I'm Damien Wills, owner and chief pilot of GoFly Aviation. Today, I'll be interviewing Lockie Smart, the youngest person to fly around the world solo in a single engine aircraft. Uh, might you tell me why did you start flying? I mean, I've always loved aviation. And yep. It's, uh, it hasn't been in my family since World War II, but yep. Yep, from World War II and beforehand back to World War I. Yep. Had a number of uh, pilots in the family yep. uh, flying both fighters and bombers, which was pretty exciting. Uh, my mum used to take me to the airport skill time okay. uh, when I was young. We'd sit there with a bucket of hot chips and we'd watch the plane take off and land. And as far as I was concerned, that was the coolest thing in the world. Yeah, okay. and, uh, I knew I was going to end up in the cockpit one day. And then, uh, my dad bought me a flying lesson, a trial instructor flight with you, as you probably remember, on my 14th birthday. Yes. Vulture. Yes. And as soon as I put my hand in those controls, there was no going back on you. I was going to be a pilot. So uh, from that stage onwards, it was work as much as I could to figure out ways to get money together to learn to fly and uh, eventually I did obviously manage to do that. Great. And you know I'll be milking that forever the fact that you did your first fly with me. <laughs> <laughs> you can claim that, you can claim that. Hello, our GoFly guest today is Lockie Smart who happens to hold the world record for being the youngest person to fly around the world in a single engine aircraft. Very similar to the aircraft behind us here, the SR, Cirrus SR22. Uh, thanks for Lockie for joining us today. Pleasure to be here. Great, just a few questions. So, since breaking that record, what have you been doing with yourself? Uh, look, since breaking the world record and being on that amazing adventure, it's been getting back into reality now and sharing the stories and the lessons that I've learnt across the world flight in schools, uh, universities and of course in corporations and how they can connect to young people a little bit better. So Lockie, I've noticed uh, you have your own uh, website now, which is LockieSmart.com. Uh, you've got a lot of blogs on there, and one of those blogs is the fear of failure. So if you'd like to t talk a bit about um, how you overcome your fear of failure in relation to prepping for the around the world uh, trip. Uh, so fear of failure is something that's innate in human beings. Uh, none of us want to do badly and none of us want to be seen doing badly. So for me, failing was something that I was going to have to learn to deal with because there's no way you can take on a challenge of this magnitude without going wrong in a few places. And uh, I mean, the beginning of my planning stages were fraught with failure. I didn't know how to pitch to people for sponsorship. I didn't know how to communicate well for media. And so for the first year of planning, we didn't get a single sponsor on board. As in, I did not get one cent of income to that company, nor one service sponsored to us. And that was crushing. I didn't know, should I give up now? If I can't get one person on board with me in a year, how am I supposed to fundraise nearly half a million dollars worth of value in the next 18 months? Uh, but I stuck with it a little bit further and as I used those failures as learning lessons I was able to get a whole lot closer to getting ready and not long after that we got our first sponsor and then our second sponsor and then it snowballed eventually to the stage where I was ready to take off with enough funds and services for this round the world flight. Right. So what would be your advice to um, young students at school now, say so you 11 and 12, who want to get into a career in aviation? It is something that you'll never regret. Aviation is uh, the most amazing field and it's a lot more accessible than you think. Uh, unfortunately, there's a big stigma around it that you have to have millions of dollars in the bank account to get in or that it's impossible to get there because the jobs are too hard to find. And the truth is none of that is actually true. You are able to get into a career in aviation. You've just got to ask the right people. So I'd encourage them uh, to get down to their local flight school or at least jump online and find out a bit more about the industry. And if it's something they're passionate about, then pursue it with everything you've got. Great, excellent. So being the youngest person to fly around the world at, at, at that age, as a young teenager, when you got back, obviously you had a lot of attention. How does a young person keep their ego at bay and stay grounded when you have all those people wanting a piece of you and everyone knows who you are? That's a great question. Uh, I think as pilots in the industry, generally ego is a big issue yes. for a lot of pilots, uh, and especially being a young pilot. Yes. I think the thing to remember is, uh, I have two photos on my wall, both of them are of where I started. Yep. And to remember your humble roots, because back then you didn't have the achievement behind you and you didn't have the success behind you, I guess, so uh, you had the humility. But now that you've got the success and you've achieved what you wanted to achieve, you're still the same person and there's no excuse for you to get all cocky and, and make that ego shoot through the roof. Uh, yeah. Makes you a bit dislikable. Okay, great. Um, and what's your future plan? So obviously you're not interested in enjoying an airline, otherwise you would have been snapped up by now. So what's, what's your plans for the future? Look, my future plans uh, don't, for a career, sorry, they don't involve aviation. I don't want to be flying for a living. 
I love aviation so much though, of course, it'll never not be a part of my life. Uh, I'll always fly, but my career aspirations are actually to continue on with professional speaking and uh, performance coaching as well about how you can get the best out of the younger generation and sort of gap those, sorry, bridge those gaps uh, between generations and corporate environments and young people. So that's where my passion lies and I look forward to speaking on that and working with the companies one-on-one -on -one as well. Great. Uh, well, look, all the best with you. You're about to go to the States. Yeah. And how long are you over there for? I'll uh, be over there indefinitely. Okay, yeah. fantastic. So if you want to uh, check out Lockie, yeah, as I said, go to his uh, website, which is uh, lockiesmart.com. That's it. Um, yeah, and uh, all the best. Thanks, mate. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.